Hey everyone, this is Eric and welcome back to our homestead. Welcome back to our garden. We have a reprieve from the rain, the torrential rains here in East Texas that have been happening for the last couple of weeks. We've got one day and I need to get my garlic and onions out of the ground right now or I'm gonna lose them all. So I'm so thankful for a day without rain where I can do this harvest. Now today I want to show you how to harvest garlic and it is definitely time. It might be a little past time on these and I hope it's not because this is my garlic for next year. You can grow and grow and grow and multiply your garlic year over year just like your strawberries, just like your sweet potatoes, things like that. So I got to get this out now. Let's do it. So garlic matures in about eight to nine months, depending on variety, some maybe a little bit longer, but ours have been in for exactly eight and a half months and they are definitely ready to come out. You can see the leaves are yellowing. Let's go in and show you exactly how they grow, exactly what to look for when harvesting them. So I need to get this garlic out of the ground right now. You actually don't want yellow leaves up here at the top. You want those to still be green. So this is a little bit overripe. What you want are the bottom four leaves, maybe six, to yellow out and you'll know that that bottom bulb is formed and ready to be harvested. But as soon as they start turning up here, it could be a little too late. So get them out of the ground before this stage. I love to use these Hori Hori knives for harvesting, especially garlic, because it gets down deep next to that bulb and these are planted fairly deep. Garlic has roots that go down and out and you wanna sever those roots. You really don't wanna yank these out of the ground unless you have super, super soft soil. You don't wanna damage the neck on these before they cure. So we'll take them back to our onion and garlic drying rack in back of the house. You guys have seen that video before. If you haven't, go click at the top of the screen. But we need to get these out, not gently, but we don't wanna damage that neck. So this Hori Hori knife, like I said, is going to be the best for that. I'm just gonna go around the garlic bulb like that and kind of pry up on it. And that's the nice thing about this knife. Like that. Boom. Look at the size of that bulb. Here's my hand. That thing is huge. So you can see this one is actually a little overripe. Those bottom leaves, the bottom layers, had formed a nice dried cured skin around the bottom of the bulb or the, uh, the cloves and that has deteriorated, it has gone away. So we need to get these on the drying rack really quickly and hopefully it'll form another skin and that neck will dry out properly, shrink on the inside and not let any um, bacteria, bugs, whatever it is into the bulb itself because that will ruin it and it won't store as long. If it doesn't do that, we're gonna have to monitor it. We can always just can the garlic We'll have to come up with a different solution for transplanting our garlic next year. But make sure you always get these out of the ground on time. Remember, just kind of dig and pry around your garlic bulb. Kind of knock it sideways and pull it straight up. Because those roots are plentiful and they go very, very deep. So if you try and yank on this, you're gonna damage the neck and the neck is very important in the curing process. Before it starts raining again and I actually see some dark clouds in the south right here, I need to get these onions out because if I don't get the onions out, they're gonna rot in the ground. Onions rot way easier uh, than the garlic and they go bad way faster than the garlic. So these onions need to get out now. And obviously you can tell when onions are done is when they turn yellow or start to turn yellow, the leaves on the top and start to fall over. So these are coming out. I think we got some pretty decent onions this year. It was a weird year for onions because yeah, that's a, that's a decent little medium sized onion right there. We always plant yellow granix. They are our favorite. Uh, they're sweet yellow onion and they are uh, pretty tasty. So onions had a terrible year this year. It was hard to find them because the freeze in the south and the freeze in the areas that grew all of the onion sets, uh, even the greenhouses, they, they had trouble and they froze and the onion sets were destroyed. So 
We were able to get some, we were lucky, so we don't have that many onions this year, but we did find a decent amount. Um, and we need to get them out of here now. And look at this. This is why I need to get them out of here also. So there is no special way to harvest onions except to just pull them out of the ground. Unlike that garlic, you don't have to worry about breaking or bending that neck. But we do need to let these cure on that drying rack that we talked about. Make sure that drying rack is in an area with very good airflow. And they will cure. It'll form that thick onion skin on the outside of the onion. And these will turn completely uh, brown and dried out. And then your onions will store very nicely. Wow, look at this, what an amazing garlic harvest. Most of this wheelbarrow is full of garlic. This, I think, is the, probably the biggest harvest in the biggest bulbs that I've ever had. I cleaned out that whole bed right there that's 21 feet, I believe it's 21 feet, might be 18 feet, 18 feet by four feet in width. So we got a ton ton and I'm so excited. Now it's time to get it on that drying rack. If you have any questions about harvesting garlic or onions, let us know. Hit us up with a comment in the comment section below. Have a great day and go check out these videos right here, which give you a ton more gardening information that is on our channel. Hope you enjoy. Have a great day. We love you. See you later. Bye.